Hi everyone, I'm Colin, and this is my selfie video diary for February 19, 2014. First off, we had a really exciting event last week about surveillance in the city of Santa Cruz, playing off of John Malkin's excellent article in the Good Times magazine that everybody should read, called Surveillance City, and that's about the ALPRs, automatic license plate readers that are in all of the, or not all of, excuse me, just a limited number, seven or eight, of the police cars. And there are these cameras that can go around and build up a database of people's license plates and where your car was parked in what location at a particular time and sort of uh, gives the police a lot of surveillance power to build up a conceptual map of what your life and routines are like. So uh, John gave a great presentation about that and then I talked about the NSA and the Edward Snowden document leaks. So that's on the YouTube channel. I'll throw up some links for that. If you haven't seen those yet, they're definitely worth checking out. And then Facebook uh, has just been exploding today, uh, and the internet in general, at least the places where people in Santa Cruz hang out, over this thing with the Great Morgani. So the Great Morgani is this guy, he's a retired stockbroker, and he puts on these really fanciful costumes, and he goes downtown and plays the accordion. He's kind of a beloved fixture of the local scene, of the downtown culture. And everybody likes him across the board. And uh, he put out an announcement that because of the restrictive uh, downtown ordinances and the general pervasive atmosphere of hostility on the part of the authorities towards street musicians that's been going on lately, he can no longer play downtown. I'm going to read you from his statement. He says, After seven years of entertaining performing, downtown Santa Cruz, the great Morgani has lost his greatness status. Due to the recent strict enforcement of current ordinances, I am considered to be in violation of where I have performed for the past ten years, even with written permission from the business owners in front of which he performs. During these years, I've never been confronted by the police, downtown association, downtown hosts, business owners, or even city council members and mayors. And I'm wondering if, by making that his it, that statement, he's saying that that's something that didn't happen before and it's starting to happen now. I'm unclear on that. The alternative performance areas are so constrained and rigid. This is this is what he's saying that. They are not compatible with any type of performance. Rather than accept a hefty $300 ticket, or worse yet, spend a night in jail in one of my costumes, ho 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 ho, that great Morgani has a sense of humor, I will be quietly leaving the downtown scene. Thank you everyone for your support and smiles along the years. I will miss you. The great one has left the avenue. So, then what happens after this, he posts this on his Facebook page, and pretty much everyone who lives in Santa Cruz, their head explodes all over the internet. And I'm talking across the board of pe people with a really broad and wide range of different uh, political opinions about what goes on in town. Um, uh, uh, nobody, it, it's, it's everybody's appalled. So... City Council, here's looking at you. Great job, guys. I could have sworn I went into the City Council and tried to explain to you that the path you were on would lead to this sort of disaster, but why should they listen to anything I have to say? Anyhow, so here we are with, um, you know what's happened with the City Council now? A shark has been jumped. There's no going back from this. There is no living down this moment. The moment that you ran the great Morgani off of the avenue, you will forever be remembered as the city council that did just that. So uh, congratulations on your reputation building skills there. 
just wonderful. It should be pointed out now that a lot of the people who are upset because the great Morgani has been caught up in the dragnet are the same people who were enthusiastic supporters and voted for the members of the city council who were the architects of this fiasco. People like Pamela Comstock, Lynn Robinson, Cynthia Matthews, Hillary Bryant. Okay, they all ran on this sort of coded, tough on crime type rhetoric that's really popular around town. And let that be a lesson to you all. That just because somebody runs on being tough on crime doesn't mean that once they get into office, they're going to have any idea what the hell they're doing. That has become way too much of an easy one-way ticket for any old idiot or con artist to land themselves on the council is you, uh, you know, go around town and stoke a few flames about, I'm going to clean up all the bombs and drug addicts and criminals from downtown. And when you elect these people and actually put them in charge of the government, this kind of uh, idiotic policy of not being able to even foresee the outcomes of the own rules that they're passing, that's what you get out of the process. So, uh, you know, we really need to take democracy a lot more seriously in this country and uh, actually vet the candidates that, uh, that we put on the council uh, for being qualified and competent or and not just electing somebody uh, because they're good at, you know, using coded language that appeals to your emotions. Uh, let's put some quality people on the council. Thank you very much.